despite our apparent progress in cancer treatments, all common human cancers remain as incurable and as deadly as they were 200 years ago, if not removed completely with surgery in the early stage of the disease. Did you know that cancer became the leading cause of death in the world in 2014, killing now 20,000 men, women, and children every 24 hours? Did you know that in the United States alone, 1,600 people die from cancer every single day, and that close to 50% of those deaths involve children and men and women in their most productive years? Did you know that in the United States, cancer is the leading cause of death due to disease for all children between the ages of 4 and 14, and all adults except the elderly? In 2011, cancer specialist Dr. Frank Orguello asked himself this question. Is there something fundamentally wrong in the way we understand the biology of cancer cells? And consequently, in the way we treat cancer? The majority of cancer patients and or their family members are unaware that almost all cancers that affect humans are incurable and invariably lethal if the cancer was not detected and surgically removed early in the development of the disease. In other words, all cancers could be cured if a radical surgery is performed during the initial development of cancer when all malignant cancer cells are still localized in the organ or tissues of origin and all cancer cells are removed completely with the excision of the affected organ or tissue. However, many cancers have already spread or metastasized to surrounding tissues or distant organs by the time the diagnosis of cancer is made in the patient. However, the metastases or colonies of cancer cells that migrated and are growing in other parts of the body are frequently too small or microscopic to be seen with current radiological methods. Nevertheless, in all those cases, the microscopic metastatic colonies growing in distant tissues or organs will eventually grow big enough over time and become radiologically visible one or two years later, in spite that the surgical procedure to remove the original cancer, primary tumor, was successful. In all those instances where cancer cells were left behind in the body after the surgery, the cancer will recur as a metastatic cancer, stage 4 cancer, and kill the patient months or years after the diagnosis. Chemotherapy or radiation can be used to delay the recurrence of those metastatic tumors or to temporarily eliminate symptoms of obstruction, compression, or pain. Unfortunately, however, metastatic cancer is invariably lethal in 2022. Only about 2% of human cancers are curable with chemotherapy and or radiation, even if the cancer was spread in the body. These curable cancers include some rare pediatric leukemias, some lymphomas, the cancer of the testicles, and a few other rare pediatric cancers. Equally disturbing is that despite our great advances in science and technology during the past 100 years, many of the surgeries employed today to cure some types of cancers still rely on the same mutilating and disfiguring radical surgical procedures invented by our ancestors hundreds of years ago to cure early cancer. The mastectomy, for example, including the removal of the auxiliary lymph nodes was introduced into medical practice by the father of German surgery, Fabricus Hildenus, more than 400 years ago to treat early breast cancer. In principle, we have been curing breast cancer in the same way over the last 400 years. Other equally primitive surgical procedures that have been used for centuries to cure early cancer include limb amputations unilateral and bilateral enucleation of the eyes, glossectomies, removal of the tongue, laryngectomies, removal of the voice box, 
and more. Since we are still dependent on these primitive surgical procedures to cure localized malignant tumors that are about the size of a pea or a marble, what kind of hope can we offer to cancer patients with large, inoperable, or with multiple metastatic tumors in brain, bones, or liver? None. Cancer is a big humanitarian problem in the world but it is also a highly profitable disease for the pharmaceutical industry in particular, but also for private cancer hospitals and oncologists. To grow their businesses, the pharmaceutical industry finances bias clinical trials intended solely to justify the marketing of their products without a substantial or cost-effective benefit to those affected with cancer. Cancer drugs are extraordinarily expensive. Their price would be justified if they could cure the cancer affecting the patient using them, but they do not. Also, physicians and hospitals, in order to generate and retain cancer patients, frequently mislead them with false or ominous statements if treatment is not initiated immediately. They can mislead patients by giving false hopes, such as, you have a 50-50 chance of a cure or by indicating that although the cancer is not curable, it can be treated as a chronic disease, just as we do with diabetes. A 2012 U.S. study conducted at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute found that up to 80% of the 1,193 interviewed patients receiving chemotherapy for stage 4 lung and colon cancer believed they would be cured with the chemotherapy they were receiving. However, current cancer treatments cannot cure stage 4 lung or colon cancer, so all those 1,193 patients eventually died from their disease, as it was expected from an oncological viewpoint. The time has come for action beyond these therapeutic false hopes offered with current obsolete oncological practices. We are 100% sure that atavistic oncology and therapy is the solution to the cancer problem in the world. If you have cancer, please visit our website at www.atavisticchemotherapy.com to consider your enrollment in the Atavistic Chemotherapy Clinical Trial. Click the tab New patient info at the top right corner for details, or call Dr. Frank Arguello in the USA at 1-301-760-7777 to discuss your case with him. No cost or obligations.